You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. Today we're making a chicken salad sandwich, also known as tuna of the land salad sandwich. Chicken salad is a great thing to make for corporate gatherings or to celebrate the death of your loved ones. Making chicken salad starts with chicken. You can use any kind of chicken you want, including farm-raised chicken. You can use foraged chicken. You can use porridge chicken. You can use hoarder chicken. Or you can use mortar chicken. My precious. I'm using regular chicken, which I'm gonna pat dry, then season with flavor glitter and pepper, 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 then cover with a thin layer of olive oil. Some people think painting chicken with olive oil makes you less of an artist than someone using paint on canvas, but I'm painting in three dimensions, so suck it, Picasso. Then we'll put it on a parchment papered pan and bake it for 20 minutes on 400. Baking it hot and quick makes sure it ends up juicy, as I have demonstrated previously. So juicy. So juicy. Now we're gonna pickle some red onion which takes them from Brillo pad abrasiveness to delightful sponge tastiness. We'll put a cup of water, one cup of vinegar, a tablespoon of coarse salt, a tablespoon of sugar into the lava maker. Get that bubbling, let it cool a bit, and then pour that over the onions and leave them for around half an hour or so until the red onions, which are actually purple, become this beautiful shade of pink, just like the prophecy foretold. Now I'm gonna chop those up a bit more so that we don't get an overwhelming amount of onion crunchiness in any specific bite. Now we're gonna dice a dill pickle. If you've ever made a sandwich, you know that pickles are an integral part. And if you don't know that, then you've never made a sandwich. You've just put some stuff together on bread with a vacant hole where the pickle should be. Much like the hole in your heart where your life purpose should go. Your life's purpose is pickles. All right, the chicken is done and we're gonna take that out and let it cool. And we'll make it cool faster by putting it on a plate that cooler than the pan, which is called physics. And we'll make it cool faster than that by adding these sunglasses, which is called Rizix. And we'll make it cool faster than that by taunting it, which is called Disix. You don't even know why you crossed it, do you? Damn it, too far. Now that that's cool enough not to melt my forks, I'll start shredding it, exposing as much surface area as possible. Okay, we're gonna start combining the chicken with the other ingredients, including the main ingredient. Mayo. Now you don't want enough mayo to kill a horse, but you do want enough mayo to give a horse nightmares, meaning mares of the night, meaning the horse could trade the mayo for, uh, never mind. We'll add some more pepper, 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 but we're gonna hold off on additional flavor glitter since we put a good amount on the chicken. And now for the part that really elevates this chicken salad sandwich to the next level, seasoning. Let's go to my seasoning cabinet and, ah, oh, I keep forgetting how white I am. Hey man, um, do you have any spices I can borrow? Like anything with flavor maybe? Chicken salad. Sounds good I assume. All right. All right, we got some smoked paprika. Sounds interesting. Let's add half a teaspoon, I guess. We got some cumin, whatever that is. I love the color. Let's add a whole teaspoon. And we'll just wang jangle that all together. Now we'll add in those diced pickles and also the pickled red onions. Careful not to have any pickles touch the pickled onions so the pickling doesn't cancel out. And we'll wang jangle that all together. Now, when I taste something, my genetics always send a signal to my brain telling me more mayonnaise. And that signal is always Correct. And now we're gonna get a slab of bread and spread that chicken salad onto the bread, transforming it from a salad into a sandwich, as if by magic. Throw that other slice of bread on top, give it an angle cut by pressing, not sawing like I am, and that's the chicken salad sandwich. Now I always give credit where credit is due, and this would not taste nearly as great if it weren't for the spices. Hey man, I just wanna... What? How? Cumin deficiency?